everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to be doing a study hacks video to hopefully help you ace your exams. This video is going to be broken up into three different parts. So the first is study prep, then it's study, then your actual study tips, and then general exam tips. I hope this video helps you out. Let's get started. If you're not stressed this enough, you need to exercise before you study. Even if it's just dancing around your room or walking around your house aimlessly, any form of moving your body is good. In response, your brain is flooded with extra blood, which is rich in oxygen and nutrients, to make what it thinks could be life-changing decisions. In addition, a brain structure called the hippocampus is stimulated during exercise. Research has shown that the hippocampus is important for reasoning and memory. So, if you want to have good memory, exercise. So you've exercised, you've got your blood pumping, what's next? Find a good study space. Pick somewhere you can focus and has everything you need to study. Pick a place that is clean and tidy because cluttered spaces equals cluttered minds and can increase your stress and anxiety. Also, try not to walk anywhere that is asking for sleep. Don't walk on a bed and don't work on a couch. I mean, you can work on the floor, uh, but that's kind of uncomfortable and I have fallen asleep on the floor before, so maybe avoid that. Okay, now. You've got everything done, you have a good place to work. What's next? Well, a to-do list. List everything you need to do and then break it up. For example, if you need to do an analysis, don't just write into your to-do list, finish analysis. That task alone is so daunting and stressing me out just thinking about it. Instead, write something like analyze text, make notes, and then write out analysis. That way the task is broken up and it seems easier to handle. Now. You've got a good place to work, your blood is pumping, and the last thing you need to do is just start. And that is the hottest part. When studying, your mind tends to wander off a lot, and that is completely understandable. So to try and avoid this happening, try out the Pomodoro method. Basically, you study for 25 minutes as hard as you can without getting distracted. And then once your timer goes off, you take a five minute break. It is much easier to work in 25 minute increments and get as much things into your head as you can in that short period of time than sitting at your desk for hours and hours on end without learning a thing. Try out different study methods. Everybody's brain is different. What works for a friend may not work the best for you. So take some time, do some practice tests and try out and experiment with different methods and see what works. Active recall. It is scientifically proven that active recall is better than just passively rereading your textbooks. Try flashcards, do some past papers, redo old exercise, use the blurb method. Whatever it is that you're actively studying instead of just rereading your textbook is good. When practicing your flashcards, read them out loud. When you're reading stuff out loud, it forces you to pay attention and actually remember the content. So next time you're practicing, maybe try reading aloud. Download study apps that can help you focus. I use Study Bunny, and basically you set a timer and you start studying. The longer you stay studying, the happier the bunny. And from studying, you can also earn like coins and carrots and buy them little things, and it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. <laughs> Make use of mnemonic devices. Any way you can find an easier way to remember material, use it. Like Mrs. Grant to remember the seven life processes. Any way you can make studying and remembering all this content easier for you, take advantage of it. Switch settings. Sometimes sitting and staring at the same wall for hours and hours on end can get just, just, just a little bit boring. Just not too much, just a little bit. So try to switch up your workplace every once in a while. Maybe one day you can sit off to school and study, or one day you can go sit in your sibling's room and study. I don't know. Just make it exciting and it'll help keep your brain on its toes. Try working with a friend. You guys can help keep each other on track and help each other if you get stuck. Also, studies have shown that if you teach the material to another person, it can help your understanding a lot better. But remember, some people don't work well with other people around and that is completely fine. Draw diagrams to help you visualize all this information. This creates a visual memory in your mind, which can be recalled during an exam. You may even be asked to label and draw diagrams, like of the human heart, for example, so get to practicing. Listen to the correct type of music. Try classical or lo-fi music, just something without words. Even movie or TV show soundtracks are good. 
But if all of that doesn't work out, then go to YouTube and search up study music and there's tons of options you can choose from. Some which is just white noise and some is just like rain sounds or whatever. Just find out what helps you focus the best. Exams are a very stressful time and usually you'd want to put all your extra hours into practicing for your papers, but balance is always key. Take some time and spend it with your friends, even if it's just over text or playing a quick video game. You need to fuel your brain and friends are pretty good at helping with that. Eat well, please. I know it's easy to get sucked into studying and forget about the things you need to survive, but don't <laughs> eat well stay hydrated remember your brain cannot function if it doesn't have food manage your stress i'm going to do a whole separate video on managing stress but for now here are some tips organize your studies set goals and track your process please when you feel start uh, <laughs> when you start to feel overwhelmed take a break give your brain a break go for a walk write in a journal talk to a friend it's okay to take a step back and lastly, don't compare yourself to other people. Sometimes you can work your hardest but still not get the best marks and that's okay. At the end, hard work will always pay off. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos. And I really hope these study hacks help you in preparing for your exams. Have a lovely day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. 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 I love you. Bye-bye.